All right, first graders, today for math on Tuesday, April 28th, we are going to be completing um, chapter 12, lesson 7, take apart two dimensional shapes. So how can you take apart two dimensional shapes? So it's a little bit like what we did yesterday um, where, whoops, sorry, where you were trying to figure out shapes within shapes. Um, that's also going to play a role in how you can then take apart shapes, um, different ways that you can break them apart. So, um, Angelina put some triangles and rectangles together. She drew pictures to show what she made, color to show how she put the shapes together. So. Our directions up here are telling us to color all the rectangles orange and all of the triangles purple. So remember a square is a rectangle, a special rectangle. So we're going to color the square and the rectangle both orange. So I see this rectangle here in the middle. Pins are not the best idea for these activities. Um, that's my rectangle and then my triangles are going to be colored purple. So here she stuck a square in the middle and then two triangles on the sides, on each side. And what shape did she end up making? Right, she made a trapezoid. Then over here she used a rectangle and a different shape of a triangle and made a new shape. So we're going to color our rectangle orange and our triangles are going to be purple. So this time, when she put the rectangle and the triangles together, she made a what? Right, she made a hexagon this time. So this one made a hexagon, this one made a trapezoid. But you can see the rectangles and the triangles. So if we take apart that trapezoid, we could break it into two triangles and a square. If we take apart that hexagon, we could have a rectangle and two triangles. All right, so up at the top, you can draw to show parts of a shape. So for this example, this is showing you um, a circle, if we split that circle in half, then you have a half of a circle and another half of a circle. Um, so we show the top and the bottom and then put together, it makes a circle. So this is just how you take apart that circle into two pieces. So down here on share and show it says draw a line to show the parts 
So we are wanting to show, I'm gonna grab a different, we are wanting to show for number one, two rectangles. So we need to draw a line here to show two different rectangles. So I could draw that line here, or I could draw it here. But I need to split that square in half. Okay, so I made two rectangles, right? Show two triangles. So instead of going on the flat sides, I need to go from corner to corner, or vertice to vertice, and that's going to turn this into two triangles. So I can even bring that line out a little bit more to show where those were split. But here I took a square and I turned it into two rectangles. Here I took the same square but divided it a little differently from corner to corner instead of the middle of a side and it turned into two triangles. So now it wants you to turn this rectangle into two squares. So I can't divide it this way because that would make two skinnier rectangles. So I have to go down the middle here to turn those into squares. And then using this triangle, I have to show two triangles. Hmm. So when we've been playing with our um, pattern blocks, we've turned a triangle into one triangle and a trapezoid, but how could we turn that into two triangles? Hmm. So instead of cutting off a corner, what if I went from a point up to the middle? So when I split it here, now I have two triangles. I have a triangle here and a triangle here. So notice in all of these, and this is leading up to um, our lessons that we're getting ready to talk about, um, all of these are being split to show two shapes, two of the same shapes. And in order to do that, I split all of these shapes in half. Even the circle up here, that's exactly what we did. We split it in half. Okay, so that's important to know that terminology because we're going to be talking about that very, 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 very soon. It might even be tomorrow's lesson. I'm not sure. It's either tomorrow or Thursday. So, halves. We split all of those to to break them into other shapes. So that's exactly what it's asking you to do on five, six, seven, and eight. They are asking you to draw a line to show two triangles. So you have to turn this trapezoid into two triangles. You have to turn this rectangle into two other rectangles. You have to show one rectangle and one square on this one. So be careful how you divide that. You're not going to split it right in half. And then this one to show one triangle and one trapezoid. I just showed you that example with our pattern blocks. If you're not sure, get out your pattern blocks or draw a picture on another sheet of paper and test it out first. Um, then on 9 and 10 you're doing the same thing. Except here you're going to show three triangles. Here you're going to show two triangles and a trapezoid. And on the back, um, number 11 wants you to answer how many squares are there. So look at the picture and tell how many squares there are. And number 12, draw a line to show the equal parts. Show two half circles. So draw a line there. 
So parents, I will put the answer key on Class Dojo. If you need any other help with this lesson today, do not hesitate to reach out and let me know.